Hello, everyone, and welcome. You can sense it through the pageantry, the tradition, the electricity that permeates this place as we get set for a terrific game. They're lining up to boot it away. Let's see what he can get done from inside his own 15. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Okay, so here comes the offense for the first time today. Sometimes you sense that what the kids call swagger is a false bravado. This dude is nothing but real at wide receiver. Uh, he's got that speed, and it just, you see DBs, they're probably watching him come on the field right now, and they understand it's going to be a long game. This guy can go get it. He can run. He can do a little bit of everything at the wide receiver spot. Banging, slithering, whatever it takes to get that ball up to the 32. Now on second down. One back in the backfield, and they'll give it to him. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And that's a great play by the defensive end. The best athletes on the field play defensive end. You can ask anybody. Yes, I agree, Jesse Reese. See, they agree with me. Same thing. But you watch them get off the football, make the play. That's why you put your athletes there. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, on that third down play, I think the quarterback's got to do a little bit of better job, really selling pass. I think he kind of hurried it up too fast, got the ball to the running back. He didn't fool anybody. Back got tackled for loss. Now it's fourth. And the coverage team all over it, and the punt is down inside the 40. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play well. They immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys that are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there for the second down. What a hit by the defender. That's a good throw, and that was going to be caught. But how about the defender dislodging the football from its intended target? Nice job. Going deep. And he reels it in inside the 30. And this defense's head is spinning. He gets it down to the 27. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. He's looking for an open man on second down. He is lucky to get that one back, and the last thing you want is to turn it over on your opening drive. Great coverage, great break on the ball. Had a chance to really make a big play and maybe even take that thing back to the house. So we got a security catch. We like to hit people more than we like to catch guys. Pulls it in. It's Baxter. And he couldn't quite get to the marker, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. I know that was third down, and I know the quarterback's trying to be careful. He don't want to be too greedy, but he had guys open downfield. I think if he had been a little bit more patient and been a little bit more willing to let the play develop, I think he could have converted that with a throw vertically down the field. Instead, he got lazy, checked it down to his running back, and now they're setting up fourth down. This offense is back on the field. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on the heels. Yeah, and we're going to be creative. We're going to get the ball to the perimeter really quickly, get some speed outside. All you got to do is secure that edge. We're just trying to get that first down. Nice job. Nice play call by the offense. They created a lot of breathing room with that first play of the drive. Now first down from the 39. Oh, and it's a pick. He threw it right into the double coverage. 
And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. QB's got to pick and choose their spots when they want to be really aggressive and try to fit balls in tight windows. Great job by the DB making a big play, getting the ball back to its offense. Here comes the offense onto the field again. You want to talk about taking the wind out of your sails, drive the ball down the field, and miss the field goal, David. You know what? Don't leave it up to kickers. Execute better offensively. I think you move the ball nice. you got to keep that in mind. He's off to the races. The tackle is made, but he's got it. First and goal from the six. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. Knocked down after a gain of one. They'll mark it at the six. Second and goal coming up. They'll run it up the middle here, looking for a path to the end zone. He's got it down to the one-yard line, right on the doorstep of Pater. Well, he gets tackled down at the one-yard line, so offensively, do you feel confident enough on third here trying to hand it off again? Yeah, and I'm taking both these downs, and I'm coming downhill. I'm running the football, trying to get... And it's in there for a touchdown. And I love it. I love the physicality of this offense. It's third and goal. I trust my offensive line to pave the way, give the ball to my running back, and know he's going to physically punch this thing into the end zone. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point makes it 7-0. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they capped it off with a one-yard punch. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. From inside his own 15, let's... But the ball pops out on the return. That, that's a breathing a sigh of relief for sure. Kick returner tries to take it out, puts it on the ground, but how about the offense getting back on it, turning a what could have been a really bad play into, thank goodness I got the ball again. So guys, we'll get another look at this offense. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. And they can't make the connection going for a big play on first down. I know that shot down the field was incomplete but you've got to keep taking shots. Those receivers love to go deep. It gives them a breath of fresh air. They get more excitement. They're going to the quarterback with a little bit more juice because you know you're feeding them. So I would... In the double coverage, and it's intercepted. Taking it the other way. And he'll take this one home. It's a touchdown. The DB saw it. He thought, don't drop it, don't drop it. Then thought, don't get caught, don't get caught. And he didn't. The pick six. Hey, these guys can play offense, too. Now, look at this. I showed you I can be a wide receiver. Coach might split them out at wide receiver next week after making that big play. But defense, great job making the interception. And you're right, doing something with it. Don't just slide down. Don't be content. Take that thing all the way back. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. From inside his own 15, trying to follow his blockers. And the returner will be brought down. And the offense out on the field to go back to work. 
To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. Into a mass of giant bodies. We'll call it a one-yard gain to the 24. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. They're bringing heat. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. On third and long, you know what's coming. That's exactly where you want to get an offense. The passing game has to come out. You go nickel, bring some more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack to force the fourth down. On fourth down, they'll try to throw it. Blast it as he lets it go. It's incomplete, and they'll turn it over on downs. And the offense heads out onto the field to get the drive started. The offense starts with a short field. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. Hold down after a pickup of three. Balls at the 13. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. And it's a touchdown, put six on the board. What a grab and what a quick strike from that offense. And when I'm an offensive coordinator and I see a short field, I'm thinking attack, attack, attack. Go get that touchdown, take advantage of what the defense gave you. Great job by the offensive coordinator. what they hope is automatic. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. They didn't have a whole lot of real estate in front of them when they took over possession, but they wasted no time. Couple of plays into the end zone. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. From inside his own 15, looking for room. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. They'll snap the ball. First play of the drive coming from their own 24. Here's the handoff. Gets the nose of the ball to the 25. Give him one. Second down, coming up. Ready, set. They largely dominated the first quarter and built a nice lead to get started. We'll start the quarter offense, about to snap it on second down. Looking to pass on second down. Finds a tight end. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job form tackle. The play action fake. They're trying to get to it. He took a hit as he threw it and couldn't deliver the football. It's incomplete and fourth down's coming. Yeah, and on money down defensively, you've got to find ways to affect the quarterback. Nice job by the defense getting the pressure, getting to him, getting a hit on him, and forcing the incompletion, and now forcing the fourth down. Going to take a shot. And the incomplete pass turns it over in their own end. We'll see the offense make its way onto the field here, hoping for a successful drive. Looking for a productive play on first down. 
from the gun. They'll try to impose their will. Powers forward, but stopped after a pickup of two to the 24. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it. And now it's just going to be a passing game. When you're going to run a comeback route, you've got to sell like you're going deep. And that was a great job there by the receiver, really making that corner think he was running deep down the field. So he got the corner to turn his hips a little alley into the end zone for the touchdown. This defense is going to have to do a better job being physical. That's two rushing touchdowns they've now allowed. They have got to be better close to the line of scrimmage. All right, he up to add another. And the extra point makes it 28 to nothing. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they close the deal, pushing their way inches into the end zone. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Looking for an alley from inside his own 20. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. So, guys, we'll see this offense again. What a turn that last drive was. Didn't pick up the fourth down, and it led to the scoring drive, David. And those are frustrating because you, you think you might get points and then your defense gives up points. This has got to be a complimentary football type deal. The offense now. He's got it on the right. And they get him down at the 43, but this is the kind of explosive play you want to build on. Finally, this offense starting to shake the cobwebs and get things moving. It's first and 10. He's going to pass. Throws to the wide. And he is finding wide open defenders all over the field. His third interception of the day. The sudden change on the turnover, and man, he was looking for running room. Couldn't find that, but they'll have it at the 22. Out comes the offense as they get set to take over. Easy. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Fires to the wide out. He's got it. And they finally get him down, but not before. He's got him set up for business at the 49-yard line. Well, it didn't take long for this guy to leave his impact in the game, guys. With that catch, this guy's already over 100 yards in the game, and we're not even done the first half. Unloads it downfield. And they won't make the connection, looking to make a big play there. Well, guess who? They're taking a shot to the guy that's just been torching this defense in the entire first half. He's already got over 100 yards, so why not try to add to it and force this defense to prove that they can cover him? They did do a nice job right there. That's not the last time this guy's going to see the ball thrown his way. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Nice job by the defense shutting down all the options, making sure it wasn't easy to read. Fires into traffic, intercepted. Didn't have a lot of room to run after the pick, but he's done his job. They have it at the 44. QBs have to understand, when I'm throwing against zones, I got to manipulate guys with my eye. I might have to look one direction to create an opening and throw that ball or zip that ball in. I got to use touch. It's really hard when all eyes are on me, and you could tell the quarterback was not ready and did not make a good throw. Let's see what this offense has dialed up this time. Boy, they had that last drive moving a little bit, David, but then the mistake just crushed them. Yeah, and those mistakes are going to happen. You're going to throw the football, you're going to throw interceptions, but I think I stay aggressive with this offense. I get back to what I did in the first part of that drive, what made me successful. I agree, David. Just turn the page if you're a quarterback, right? On this drive, you did a lot of good things there leading up to that pick. Forget about it, move on, play the next play. Easy. And back to the air on second down. Oh, so close to paying off the tip. Really had it in his hands, but it falls incomplete. Man, that's a couple bad throws. Last possession obviously ends in an interception by this quarterback, and now you throw another one, you know, in harm's way. You got to make sure you throw it to the open guy. Make sure you're taking care of that football. We can't have any more turnovers. That pass not close as he got drilled trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. 
Unlike the old school thinking, this is the area of the field that is really four down territory now. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. And they can't connect and the gamble does not work out. Okay, so here comes the offense returning to the field. And this offense choose to be aggressive. Listen, once you start getting to midfield, you see most offenses be aggressive and they took their chance and they failed now early in the game, a chance to create momentum to swing back to the other side of the football field. They finally corral him, and he turns that into a big gain and a first down. This is why everybody grows up and wants to be an offensive coordinator and not a defensive coordinator, because he can do that. He drops back. He's supposed to pass, but you know what? I'll just scramble around and... Look at that toughness just running through everybody. And he'll pick up the first down, but he got drilled on that tackle. From the 17-yard line, it's first and 10. The option look. Got enough space. He's all the way down to the three. An electric run has him set up. We've reached the two-minute warning, and they will try to build on what has already been a dominant first-half performance. This offense has been a juggernaut, and they have a chance to pad their total just before halftime. They'll use the running game on first and goal. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Yeah, and I, and I love running the football down the red zone. You've got to be able to do it. First down, obviously, is the right down to do it. But now, limits the options a little bit more. Second down after that loss of yards. Play. And it's incomplete. He was looking to the end zone and trying to get six. You simply don't see that very often. A quarterback of this guy's caliber missing a guy wide open in the end zone. He makes those throws in his sleep. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Fires to the end zone. Can't make the grab as he was going for six right there. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with you. They know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. What a disappointment. No good. That they pull the field goal. Something finally goes wrong. Well, that's one the kicker would like to have back. That's a kick he should be making in his sleep. Guys, this offense coming back out onto the field. They find themselves in a pretty deep hole here, but maybe a chance to grab a little momentum and regroup at halftime. Yeah, a big chance. Like, this is this is an opportunity. This is the biggest opportunity in front of them in the game right now. You got to get some points on the board. You got to create something positive, Jesse. There hasn't been a whole lot to be positive about in the first half. If I'm playing quarterback, I'm locating my go-to guy at receiver. Who can I count on one-on-one -on -one to go and make me a play? Maybe even one-on-two. Who can go up? Catch the ball, get us some yards, and get us some points. Pressure coming. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. The defense coming up big there, and the sack is great, but the secondary deserves some credit, too. No doubt. When you can cover like that in the secondary and drop back in your zone and only rush a few. And the defense gets loose, bringing the heat, and down he goes again. You gotta be impressed with this defense early in this game, guys. They've got a big lead because they are getting after the quarterback. They've already generated multiple sacks. They thought coming into this game they could take advantage of this offensive line, and that game plan is working to perfection. Unloads to the... Another interception. That's his fourth of the day. Steps into the end zone for a touchdown. Look, I know it's only the second quarter, but we're starting to see a pretty significant gap develop between these two teams right now. No doubt. When your defense is scoring, your offense is scoring, good things happening for your ball club. This defense on point, reading their scouting report, making big plays. PAT unit on the field. Oh, that's like blowing the layup or the three-inch putt. Missed the extra point. They got the late touchdown on the board. Now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. He'll bring it back from inside the 15. 
Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. And let's see what kind of ball plays this offense has ready. This late in the half, you're behind. You'd love to create something before the break to build momentum, Jesse. But you've also had some miscues on offense, a big part of why you're losing the game right now. I'd take it into halftime, make my adjustments, and come out ready in the second half. Yeah, I'm going to take it into halftime too, Paul. But I'm trying to put some points up right here. Be aggressive, set the tone, be like, hey, listen, this is what you're going to get in the second half, so find something really quickly you can go to. Oh, he loves to fire downfield. No, no, he loses the ball after the huge game. Defense coming up with a huge fumble recovery. And that's a huge play by the defense. Great job and great effort getting to the ball carrier and swatting at the football, knocking it out, and then falling on it for a massive fumble recovery. Now they'll try to cash in this drive, first and 10 from the 50. Looking to move it through the air. Throws to the wideout. Or did he find a hole in that secondary? Strolls into the end zone for a touchdown. And this offense is clinging. another touchdown. Didn't have to go far for this drive, but this offense is doing what they want, how they want, when they want. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, the lead is even bigger. That's the kind of drive everybody loves. So see, quarterback, one snap, put it in the end zone. So they got the touchdown, now going to put it in the hands of their defense to finish off this half. From inside the 15, here's the return. Maybe if he could have eluded just one or two more guys, it would have been a big return, but they'll mark it at the third. So we'll see this offense make its way out to start the drive. That last fumble proved to be costly as they cashed it in for a touchdown. Yeah, and so this defense now is juiced. They're excited and ready to go. So this offense, David, they've... And that makes five interceptions in this one. The nightmare is alive. And they make the play and make sure there's not any scoring opportunity right here before the end of the half. Not all DBs make the play at the end, right? They, they can bat the ball down, they can be in position, but they don't really secure the football. Great job by the DB securing the football and forcing the turnover. On the ready. Line gets set, first down. Pound 55 weak. They'll start this drive with a pass. Looking for the end zone. It's caught. That's a touchdown. That is exactly what most offenses will do. Big momentum play. My defense creates a turnover. I'm being aggressive. I'm going for the big score, the big play down the field. They get rewarded. They get the big passing touchdown. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. That drive not too taxing on the playbook. One play, put it in the end zone just like that. To get that touchdown right before the half, build the momentum, and the last thing you need to do is mess it up by allowing a big kickoff return. From inside the 15, chance for a good return. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Comes out throwing on first down. What a spectacular grab there as they try to finish this game with a little something to feel good about. Timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more Timeout. points on the board before the half. One more snap coming before halftime. Here we go. 
They'll throw it on first down. The pass falls incomplete, and that's how we'll finish this half. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. All right, guys, you've been calling a magnificent game there in Gainesville so far. And it'd be easy to say these two offenses are glad we've hit halftime based on their respective performances. It would also be accurate. Turnovers and sacks have told the story so far. And you gotta believe the play calling has been the issue, right? Time to shred those game plans and just get back to basics. And with that, let's send it back to our men in the swamp. All right, Kevin about ready to get things cranked back up here. Just about set for the second half kickoff. Set to advance on the football. From inside the 15, here comes the return. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. And the offense takes the field eager to go back to work. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute, David. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. you got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. He found plenty of room, and he gets it to the 39-yard line. Whole situation changed after that last big play. Now it's first and 10 from the 39. Used the play fake. Now to throw. Got it in the middle. It's more. Oh, and after the big game, the ball's loose. How about that alert play from the defense to corral that fumble? And they'll get him down after a solid return. These wide receivers are so fast nowadays. They're such big playmakers. I just want to get it to them and let them make it happen. But a lot of times, we're running to them, too. We're focused on chasing him down and funneling the football in the right direction. Defense Swarm did a good job getting their hand on the football, causing the fumble from the wide receiver. First play of the drive comes from the 22. He wants to throw. Going over the top. And he's thrown another interception. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. He's just Johnny on the spot. That now his second interception of the game, doing a great job reading the quarterback's eyes. And he's just been in the right place at the right time making plays. The offense set for a first down play. 42 Spider. He'll start this drive firing. And complete. He threw that one up for grabs and into traffic. Fortunate to get it back. 
All right, well, the quarterback showing you he is human after all. Finally throws an incompletion. And not just that, after a couple of completions back to back to back, almost throws a pick. Getting some heat. He lost it high and deep down the left side. And he'll take this into the end zone, but hang on just a second. Flag down. Let's see what this is about. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Got it. And now on second down for this offense. Clear. Clear. He's looking to throw. He'll take another shot here. Wide open. He makes the catch. Touchdown. He has been surgical. Precision passes using the scaffold, the fine instrument, rather than the blunt one. The defense has had absolutely no answer for him. Just, uh, he's been down their throats all game long, a step ahead, understanding what he's seeing, and just destroying this defense. I'll tell you, this quarterback has just been in a great rhythm all game long. With that last completion, he's now over 300 yards passing. And with that extra point, the lead remains in the gargantuan category. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. The kickoff team out there getting set. From inside his own 15, looking for a crevice. Buys just enough space to cross the 25. Let's mark it at the 27-yard line. Guys, this offense will go back on the attack. Well, the good news about this drive, Jesse, it can't go worse than last time through a pick on the first play. No, it certainly can't. I think one good way, David, to help your quarterback turn the page is just find him an easy completion here and let him get back into a rhythm. Yeah, or find him an easy handoff. Just hand the football off, maybe get the ground game going. He holds it in, and nobody's close. He is feeling it. A huge play. Almost took it to the house, but they got him at the 24. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating. Throws toward the end zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. Man, this quarterback is living dangerously right now. Obviously, he threw a pick on the last drive. He's trying to complete that throw, but the defender gets a hand on it, tips it up in the air. That's oh no. That is an oh no situation. We're lucky that one hit the ground. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. Boy, guys, they got off to a great start with that big first play on this drive, but now a couple of incompletions leaves them in a hole. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. They get him stopped at the two, but it'll be first and goal. Well, I think on that play, you saw why this guy's such a big weapon in this offense. The receiver, he does such a nice job with his routes. He's patient, and he's consistent, and he's got good hands. You don't see him put a lot of balls on the ground. Nice job there picking up the first down. The big fellas coming out in the goal line defense. He'll pull it on the read. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. I just love the way the defense prepares. Each and every week, we see this defense come out, and it's like 11 guys, they've got their head in the game, and they're playing as one unit. They knew it was going to be tough facing this option game. With and he is snowed under, sacked at the seven. Yeah, when you get closer to this area near the red zone and closer inside the five like you are here, it's tough to throw certain routes, right? Like, you need to throw those slants. You need to throw those fades. Get the ball out of the quarterback's hands really, really quickly because you know you're going to get some pressure from that defense. Jumped on top of the pile. That's a great job executing up front by the defense. They looked like they were ready for that play, and that was a bit of a more unconventional look from the offense on third down, but the defense was there to make a big stop. He's looking to throw. And that one is picked up in the end zone. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. Really nice job there by the defense, because I think they baited the QB into trying to fit that one in over the middle of the field. Remember, it's a big zone coverage. They've all got their eyes on him back there in the pocket, and they just let him feel like, maybe I can fit this football in. Not so fast. They come away with the pick. 
And the offense back on the field, ready to dial up ball plays. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge game in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. After that last incompletion, here's second and 10 from their own 20. Running back searching for a hole. Not much there. Picks up a couple to the 22. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Every defense in the country talks about getting offenses in predictable third and long situations where I can bring on more speedsters and I know the pass is coming so I can have more success. And now the offense will come onto the field again. That last possession, a prime example, Jesse, of how things get condensed in the red zone. Hard to throw when the windows are smaller, and that's what happens down near the goal line, David. And that pass is intercepted. Takes it the other way. He goes out of bounds, but he just about did it himself. What a return after the interception. And another mistake from this quarterback. That's back-to-back -back drives now that have resulted in interceptions. He's got to find a way to find something different, get in a better rhythm, start seeing the field better, Palmer, because he's not in a flow right now. No, David, it looks like he's forcing the football a little bit, maybe trying to make up for that interception he threw on the last drive. But that last play, there was no way that football should have gone there. He could have gotten off of that and checked it down or thrown it away. This quarterback, he needs a breather right now. He's got to collect himself. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. Oh, that pass right there, dude, he goes over 350 on the day. Nice performance. This QB's been dialed in. Down to the 23 for this first and 10. On the run, it's Morris. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. That has got to be demoralizing if you're on defense because they just ran the ball right up the middle, down your throats, and they gashed you. Running back goes in motion. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Yeah, and listen, the offense has had their way, and they've had so much success and so much production. But listen, at least the defense got a rep. You know, maybe this gets you some a spark. Maybe this gets you some energy. Maybe we'll see a little bit more life from this defense. Yeah, they may not win the game, but I think this defensive coaching staff at this point, based on how this game has gone, they're just trying to find things to build off of. Maybe that's something they can point to as they get ready for their next opponent of things they did right and things that they got to do more consistently moving forward. Fires into the end zone. And it's caught for the touchdown. And a really nice job understanding. I got to get to that gap where there's a little bit of open space in the middle of the field when I run that post route. QB lays it out for me. He catches it, gets two feet in bounds in the end zone. Touchdown. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point just tacks a little bit more onto this huge lead. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they cap things off with a nine-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. Let's see what he can get done from inside his own 15. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. And now this offense will take the field again. Well, let's see if this drive goes better than the last one. They were in and out quickly after the quick pick, David. Yeah, first play, big mistake, man. Now, let's get this offense in a little bit of a rhythm, maybe before you open it up again, Palmer, or do you trust him right away? Hit the gas, kid, wide open ahead. 
No one's going to get him. Touchdown. And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting into rhythm. Nice start for this offense. Now a two-point conversion attempt coming up. Cricket. Oh. The snap sets up the throw. He's got it in the end zone for the two as they draw a little closer. That drive not too taxing on the playbook. One play, put it in the end zone just like that. Deficit's still pretty big, and they'll try to get it right back and cut into it with an onside kick. Cool as a cucumber as the hands team makes a sure catch. And the offense takes over to dip into its bag of ball plays. Looking for a productive play on first down. Takes the handoff. It's Morris. They're just trying to flex the muscle. They get him down at the 34 after a pickup of four. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. He'll try it again. Picks up the first down. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good gain. That's a first down for the offense. Will the beatdown continue, or is this a comeback for the ages in store? We'll see as we start the fourth. The offense down to the 25 now, first and 10. Give to the running back. Brought down after picking up three, down to the 22. Small game, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass, make him out of the run game. you got to do a lot of this. Off the play fake. A shot for the end zone. Makes the catch and gets the score. And this always is the debate of where you fall. It's your job to stop me or I should get concerned. Because this offense obviously has had themselves a day. And apparently their day's not over. They're going to continue to keep scoring. And the defense better do something about it. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. How in the world did he miss that? Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the scoring play comes on a touchdown pass from 22 yards out. Kickoff team has the ball teed up, and they're about ready to go. From inside his own 15, let's see how far he can get. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Offense making its way onto the field to start the drive. Got it. A quick strike touchdown up top the last time they had it, Jesse. They'd love to do it again. No doubt. They've got so many playmakers on the perimeter, David. Just Oh, what a grab by the defense. Got some room to run. Giving him his pads. He's out of bounds, showing off the hands on the pick and then the nifty moves on a terrific return. And as a defensive lineman late in the game, man, when you know it's passed, you're pinning your ears back, trying to get to the quarterback, and DBs are trying to do this. Pad them stats, get the INT. Nice job by this D. A great spot to start this drive for the offense. Here we go. Ready. Going to the run, it's Morris. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. 
it's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and leading the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. Be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. I know the passing game sells, and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards a pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. Lining up to convert third down. On the ground, trying to pull the plug on this clock. Defense makes a stop, but the chains move, and it's first and goal from the eight. Well, they came into this game today knowing that this guy was going to have to leave his mark in this one, tote in the rock, and he's done that. He's come up with some big plays, and he continues to do that here late at a juncture where they've got to continue running it if they're going to win. Drag down at the six after a pickup of two. They're strong and they're sprawl. Defensive tackles, they're sprawl. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance when you got that 300 plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad. You tend to go to the ground pretty quick. And we're seeing a bit of the bend don't break attitude by the defense now. Obviously, they've given up some plays to allow the offense to get down in the situation. But with their backs against the wall, this is the best we've seen this defense play. They're having none of this running game down on the goal. And the quarterback caught up two and sacked at the 12. They're going to pass on what would figure to be an easy three points and instead go for it on fourth down. And it's picked off right at the goal line. Looking for more room. And a big return after the INT sets up the offense for this possession. Never say die attitude. And I love that, especially these young players, because they're out there competing. And I know the scoreboard right now doesn't look pretty. They're not going to come back and win this football game. But I just love kids that are competing until there's zeros on the clock. All right, guys, so here's the offense back on the field again. Mistakes are going to happen, as they did on that last drive. Now, how will they respond, Jesse? And this is the kind of guy who's going to take full accountability. That was my bad. That's a Fires into traffic. Picked off. Bulldozes his way through. And they capitalize not only on the pick, but the great return to give the offense tremendous field position. The number one objective for a defense is to make the offense one-dimensional. Well, when they're trailing by this much late in the game, they're one-dimensional. They have to pass the football. We can bring more speed on the field. You see it. We know you're throwing the football. Nice break on the football. Nice interception. This one's almost over. The offense lining up for a first down play. Moves. The toss to the right. Crosses the 40, gets it down to the 35 before he stopped a gain of six. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the chains for a first down. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride. They want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. They're going to ride this running back. Yeah, and that's a great job by this offense. And I'll tell you what, fourth quarter, you have the lead. That's exactly what you want to do. Lean on these guys, run the football, eat that clock. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. They'll give it to the back. Tackle is made after the first down. And that's all you want, right? You want that first down. Uh, understand the situation. Understand I got to get north and south, get a first down, get a new set of downs. From the 17-yard line, threatening to score on first and 10. Got some room headed to the goal line. And we have breaking news. They score yet another touchdown. 
this has been a complete performance. The defense has been lights out, and the offense, obviously, just continues to pour it on. This is what you call having a great day. Putting it all together, offense, defense, complimentary football. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point is good, and you've got to be happy about that after missing a pair. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And they finished it off with a 17-yard touchdown run. From inside his own 15, trying to follow his blockers. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. And the offense takes the field, ready to go back to work. This has been an old-fashioned fanny paddling, David. I mean, they've just got taken behind the woodshed. There's nothing to say. This has been an absolute beatdown. Dominated from the start, Jesse, to almost the finish now. They have done nothing right here. Everyone's going to have to have a real hard look at themselves, I think, this week after watching the film and in practice. And they just got to take accountability. They have to understand, man for man in this offense, they've got to do a better job next time they're on the field. Motion from the offense. Little touch pass to the receiver. And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. Man, the defense, you hold your breath. When this receiver has the football out in space, you have got to make sure you're playing with outstanding pursuit. Nice job there, but as this game goes on, they've got to keep an eye on this guy and make sure they know where he is at all times. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Now on third down after that run. To the ground to try to pick up the first. He'll be stopped short, picks up one, but they're facing fourth and one. And, and I think this offense is all but surrendered, right? Like, they're, they're down so much, they need to be throwing the football if they want to score a bunch of points to get back in this game. But they got to find something moving forward, man. This was a rough day. This was not a great offensive performance. they got to bounce back the next opportunity, the next moment. Because today, oof, it was not a good day. Russell to the ground after picking up the first down. I love the idea, and I love just finding ways to get your best players out in the open field. This pre-snap motion and using it to their advantage on that last play, I think that was a strong pass rush. Gets to the quarterback, and they get him. Offense uses a timeout. 17 seconds left on the clock. Timeout called by the offense. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. He's looking to throw. Takes a hit as he fires. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Pass is incomplete. The clock is down to nine. And this defense has put a game together. Like, it is hard to put all the facets of defense together. Run defense, pass defense. They've been so good, man. Dialed in. You could tell they were ready. They were fast. They were physical. They dominated this football game today. And it's incomplete. The long pass downfield. They couldn't hook up. And these aren't easy situations for these offenses, man. Like, it's a known passing situation. The defense is playing coverage, coverage, coverage. Nowhere to go with the football, forces the incompletion, and this one is all but over. Running out the clock seems to be a mere formality here as they are ready to snap it in victory formation. Well, this one had all the suspense of a bug hurtling his way toward a windshield, and they did splatter them, an absolutely dominating performance. You gotta give the coaching staff a ton of credit. They obviously had their guys ready to play and motivated right from the opening kick. All three phases we saw, just spectacular football. No mental mistakes, David. You really can't play better than that. Nah, it's, it's really fun to do this. Come out and just dominate opponents. Start from finish. Uh, nothing to worry about. You just know you're better. You're gonna do you. Put up a bunch of points and win by a lot of points. 
So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.